updated 15th of December, the Hartford Courant has this report with the headline Newtown families grieve as medical examiner works to identify victims in Sandy Hook school shooting, which says Victoria Soto hid her students, 15 or 16 of them, seeing no one but Soto, a gunman shot her and left the room. Also dated 15th of December, the Hartford Courant has another report titled A Methodical Massacre, Horror and Heroics, which states Soto is believed to have hidden her six and seven year old students in a classroom closet. When Lanza demanded to know where the children were, Soto tried to divert him to the other end of the school by saying that her students were in the auditorium. But six of Soto's students tried to flee. Lanza shot them, Soto and another teacher who was in the room. Later, in their search for survivors, police found the remaining seven of Soto's students still hiding in the closet. They told the police what happened. Also dated 15th of December, the Hartford Courant has a third report with the title Victims Remembered Fondly, which says Soto was shot in her classroom by shooting suspect Adam Lanza after he entered her room looking to shoot more people. The source said she had 15 or 16 children in her class. He walked in, shot her and goes back to the hallway towards another class. The source said there's no doubt the suspect would have fired at more students if he had seen them. Dated 15th of December, The Guardian has this article featuring a video report from ITN News. The report states that Victoria Soto hid her students and told the gunman the children were in the gym. It goes on to explain how her actions resulted in all of her students surviving unharmed. This is the image of a young woman who has been hailed a hero. First grade teacher Victoria Soto reportedly hid her young pupils in closets and cabinets when she became aware that there was a gunman in Sandy Hook Elementary School in Connecticut. The 27-year-old then faced shooter Adam Lanza and told him all her first graders were in the gym. He then turned the gun on the young teacher, shooting her dead. But as a result of her actions, all of her students survived unharmed. Dated December the 16th, this report from USA Today quotes the Hartford Courant, citing a law enforcement official familiar with the event as saying, Victoria Soto students were huddled in a closet. The gunman shot six students that tried to escape from Victoria Soto's classroom, and finally police opened the door and found seven sets of eyes looking at them. In the same report, Lieutenant Jay Vance explains that Hartford Courant's information is from someone not directly involved with the investigation. Dated December the 16th, this article is from BBC News. In an audio recording, Anna Matto from the Connecticut Post explains that Victoria Soto saved her children by lying to the gunman who only shot Victoria Soto before moving on. She's definitely a hero in all of this. When the shooter came into the school, someone in the main office was able to put in on the intercom to alert all the teachers that there was something going on, and then they heard gunfire. A lot of the teachers were able to go lock their doors and tell their children to hide. Um, the shooter immediately went, I think, to Vicky's classroom right after she told the kids to hide, and she told him that all her children were in the gym, and he just shot her and then went on to the next classroom. She saved the children by hiding them and lying to him. In this CNN video interview dated the 16th of December, the parents of Aidan Lakata, who was a student in Victoria Soto's class, tell of how their son witnessed his teacher being shot before he escaped from the classroom by running past the gunman to safety. They say the class all heard gunshots, then the gunman entered the classroom and shot Victoria Soto. Next, their son ran out of the door past the gunman who was standing in the doorway. They say their son held open the door and waited for two other students to also exit the classroom, and they then ran down the hall together to escape through the main school entrance, down to the main road. They say it is a miracle he made it out alive after coming face to face with the shooter. And that's when they heard uh, noises that he described as, initially they thought were hammers falling. Um, then they realized that it was gunshot. And uh, Miss Soto, who was Aiden's teacher, had the presence of mind to move all the children to a, a distance away from the door on the side of the room, furthest away from the door. And that's when the gunman burst in 
um, did not say a word, no facial expressions, and uh, proceeded to shoot their teacher. And they basically ran right next to the guy and out the door. And they ran past the they guy. They ran past the guy. He's still standing in the door. And they ran past him and ran down the hallway. And they're one of the closest rooms to the main entrance. And Aiden was had the presence of mind to, to hold the door for one of his classmates and then there was another one of his classmates that was a little behind and waited for him and then they all ran to the road, to the main road, all the way down. And of course we now know his teacher, Victoria Soto, died in that classroom trying to protect her students. They also explained the story in this CBS interview dated the uh, 17th of December. The Lakatas do not mention any of the students being shot in what is shown of their interviews. Talking all morning about the heroism in the middle of all the horror in Newtown, one group of students saw the ultimate example, a teacher who gave her life to save theirs. Peter Van Sant spoke with the parents of a child who escaped the massacre. And the story their six-year-old son told them beyond imagining. I got a text from a friend, and it simply said that our son was at the police station. Her son had escaped. He later told his parents a remarkable story of the nightmare unfolding inside his classroom. When the shooting began inside Sandy Hook Elementary, teacher Vicki Soto moved the children in classroom 10 against a wall away from the door. And that's when the little boy came face to face with the gunman. Somehow the person was able to burst open the door and um, Basically, at that point, that's when they witnessed uh, his teacher be shot, and they they all ran. My son was the last one out with the children that, that he was he escaped with. They ran right by the shooter who was in the doorway. How they escaped, we still to this day, I don't know that we'll ever really know exactly how they managed to get past him. And they ran out the door. Um, they ran past the they shooter. They ran past the shooter. So they saw some victims. They did. The children got out, but the young teacher, who had bravely shielded her students, was left dead. Dated 17th of December, CNN has this video with the headline, Victoria Soto sacrifices life to save her first graders. In the report, it is explained that Victoria Soto shielded her students from harm, and it does not mention any of her students being killed. Administrators and teachers at Sandy Hook are being hailed for their heroism, for saving the lives of the children before even worrying about themselves. One of those teachers was 27-year-old Victoria Soto. She led her first graders away from the classroom door, only to be shot and killed by the gunman. Soto is being called a hero for shielding her young students from harm. She hid her first graders in a closet before the gunman entered her classroom. But her mother, Donna Soto, is not surprised by her 27-year-old daughter's actions. Dated 17th of December, ABC News has this story, mentioning Jesse Lewis, who was in Victoria Soto's classroom. It is explained that Jesse was trying to lead other children to safety. They report he ran into the hallway to help when he heard gunshots and he was killed. Dated 17th of December, the Daily Mail states how six children who tried to escape from Victoria Soto's classroom were shot dead, mentioning Jesse Lewis along with Victoria Soto and another assistant teacher, while seven children who remained hidden survived. Dated 19th of December, in this story from NBC News, it is explained how Victoria Soto hid her students in a closet and tried to shield them from bullets some students surviving while others did not. Dated 19th of December, in this report from writers shown on the Hartford Courant's website titled Victoria Soto Remembered, the video explains, Victoria Soto reportedly told the gunman her students were in the school gym. He then shot her and moved on. The life of murdered Connecticut teacher Victoria Soto was celebrated at a wake on Tuesday. The 27-year-old teacher was killed as she tried to protect her first grade students during a gunman's rampage that left 20 children and 6 adults dead in an elementary school. She reportedly hid her students in classroom closets and cabinets and told the gunman they were in the gymnasium. Hartford Courant reporter David Owens is being interviewed here on CNN. 
He is presented as being involved with the area as a reporter for 18 years. In this interview, he explains that his colleague Bill Lucart, who is also a long-time reporter at the Harford Courant, was the stepfather of Lauren Rousseau, a teacher who died in the shooting. You know this community well. Um, you've been covering stories here for 18 years. What are your impressions of how this has affected the immediate area? Everywhere in Connecticut I've gone in the past few days, everyone is impacted by this. Everyone is talking about it. And David, tell us your personal story about what happened when you were going out to cover this story. What did another reporter ask you to do? Uh, one of my colleagues, Bill Lucart, I've worked together with him here at the Hartford Current for years, and he and I were in Newtown Friday morning, and we met near the firehouse at the foot of the driveway of the school, and he told me that his stepdaughter was substituting at Sandy Hook Elementary, and he wrote her name down, Lauren Russo, on a piece of paper from, our note, from a notebook and handed it to me and asked me to be on the lookout for her. And, of course, we found out later that she was one of the teachers who died. Dated December the 21st, this BBC story is titled Paul Simon Plays at Teacher's Funeral. In the report it says, Soto was killed while shielding her students from gunfire. She is understood to have hidden some of the children in a closet, ensuring they were safe, and then told the gunman that her class was in the gym. There is no mention of any of Victoria Soto students being killed in any BBC report that I could find. Dated December the 23rd, the New York Post has this article with the headline Newtown Massacre Victims and Survivors Pictured in Victoria Soto's Class Photo. It shows a picture of Victoria Soto with her students and Anne-Marie Murphy and the text reads Soto hid her students in a classroom closet and cabinet and put herself between them and the killer. When Lanza entered the room, after killing 14 students in the classroom next door, she tried to steer him away by saying her students were in the auditorium, but a handful of students, including Olivia Engel, tried to flee. Lanza shot them. In the photo are Soto's other fallen students, Dylan Hockley, Alison Wyatt, Jesse Lewis, and Vial Rickman, all six years old. But because of Soto's heroic actions, most of her little students survived the horror. The text below the class photograph reads, Those labelled in the photo were gunned down in the massacre on December the 14th. Dated January the 7th, 2013, the Hartford Courant has this article titled, Stratford Mayor Once School Named After Teacher Who Died in Newtown. In the article it says, Soto, aged 27, was one of the six staff members to die in the December the 14th rampage, which also claimed the lives of 20 students. Seven of her students were found huddled and unharmed in a classroom closet apparently hidden by her. Other students were able to flee. There is no mention in this article of any of her students being killed. I have tried to present this information as clearly as I can. It is a presentation of the media stories you will read if you search for news about the incident. I have only used articles which are available online from established news agencies four weeks after the Sandy Hook school shooting. On the 15th of December, the day after the shooting, the Hartford Courant has two reports that say the Victoria Soto students had all survived, but they also report on December the 15th that students from her class had tried to escape and been killed. In general, the mainstream media news articles that I can find report for the first few days that all of Victoria Soto's students survived, while in later days report that some were killed. The news reports seem conflicting even at much later dates. Like the last report shown from January the 7th, 2013, from the main local paper, the Hartford Courant, which only says students escaped and students were found in Victoria Soto's classroom, not mentioning that students had also been killed with her, even though, according to their website, they reported that children from her class had died on December the 15th. Some news stations, such as BBC, never mentioned students from Victoria Soto's class being killed. 